Well, I mean, it's, 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 on the, on the, the, the slightly larger figures, the, 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 um, there's a distinct kind of difference isn't it, between the way these forms have emerged and the way these are. reading of the anatomy as it were, whereas these it's very clear. Yeah, these are sort of 1983, I these remember, are right, and these are 2019. And in fact, uh, my bit of inside information here, the two figures at each end, um, he worked on them for sort of 20 months, uh, and then he had uh, plasticine figures that looked like this, and he made a mold on, took the mold off, and of course taking the mold off, damaged the plasticine to some extent, but not uh, not that much. Anyway, he put the damaged plasticine uh, figures aside, cast, or you know created this thing and that thing. And then he had a look at the damaged plasticine figures and said, hey, I can do something with this. And he uh, made these two figures in two weeks. Yeah, or well, that's how yeah. these four figures, you know, he works differently all the time. But uh, these two figures came about in two weeks as opposed to 20 months, though they're two weeks based on 20 months of, of work. Yeah, I, I, I mean, it, uh, it's good to know, it's good to know, um, and it's good to know that these are so much earlier because the aspiration seems quite different, doesn't it? Well, it, it, and there are consistencies as well as Differences, you know. The, certainly, the uh, you know, I, I I can understand your sort of losing track of the anatomy here. But I, I remember, I don't know, if these are in fact eighty three, then they're before the time I met Bruce. But when I met him in ninety, uh, he was working on. Uh, figures and talking about uh, contrapposto mm -hmm. and he was sort of stuck on contrapposto and I would ask him about it and he would or at least on one occasion he said uh, you, you know or I sort of asked him why do you keep going back to contrapposto and he said that it's the one thing that will allow people to recognize that this is a figure uh, and What's interesting to me about that statement is that it's the movement that uh, uh, he or that he thinks of as allowing someone to recognize these things as figures. It's not the anatomy; it's the movement, and that sense in which movement is key uh, in all of his work. Here, you know, that's a consistency that's. Uh, that's interesting to me. That's the divide between the smaller and the larger pieces. So, uh, that these pieces all <clears throat> make use of a contrapposto and the others have, have left it behind. You have one kind of flat-footed or leaning stance or another. They've really given up that equilibrium. Well, yeah, but it, it's... You know, the thing is, what is contrapposto? And to some extent, of course, it's what 
the Greeks and men and, uh, thousands of years ago, but in a, it, it's, it's, there's more to that than, um, than, you know, certainly this doesn't, no, nothing here looks like the Duriferous or something like that. Uh, but um, that idea of balance, that idea of the body having its own laws and uh, people paying attention to those laws in different ways. Mm -hmm. You know, Polyclitus or whoever uh, was interested in harmony and stuff. But he, it was also that basic thing that if this hip goes up, then the other hip goes down. And that, that thing uh, can become sort of philosophical. And uh, you get, you know, when you're reaching up, you're reaching for the stars and aspiring, desiring, hoping. When you're uh, sinking down to earth, uh, you know, you're unable to reach up. And, uh, and that sort of, uh, I don't know, philosophical uh, business is, uh, or seems to be something that's happening in both sets of figures. Uh, and is a consistent uh, concern of Bruce's, uh, it seems to me. Uh, but, but when he, uh, he lets go of the contrapasso, it seems it's, it's really liberating. It lets him break a lot of rules. And it lets out this kind of crazy humor yeah. that I see in these pieces, and you know, really interested in. Yeah, I just I, I'm a little. I, I you know I guess I understand what you mean by letting go of the contrapposto, but I sort of don't see his ever. You know, he's always in touch with it in the sense that. If this shoulder goes down, yeah. then this shoulder can come up. But you know, both arms are heavy. Though this one, he's, and and that is not just a matter of an arm going up, but it's it, you know it has what I'm calling philosophical implications, and you know maybe that's. I feel like he, he never loses touch with that with, with those classical mechanics, and and. Because we know that he's got it, we appreciate his violation mm -hmm. of that equilibrium. Yeah, yeah, but it's the same. Or, 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 you know, I think of Merce Cunningham, or even ballet, which didn't begin with the Greeks, apparently. You know, the dancers are still in. I mean, they don't. I don't think contrapposto is a dance step, but they're involved with laws that uh, are unavoidable if you've got a body. And that, uh, you know, it seems to me that's what's important about what the Greeks were doing. And the same thing is just as important uh, today. Uh, and it can bring out, you know, all kinds of things like humor. They, you know, these, they, Garth was smiling when he no, I'm, I'm interested in if this work, if these are, you know, separated from these by some 30 more years. Um, and yeah, I mean, I understand you can assert, as you have eloquently, John, that the continuing theme is about movement and, and specifically the way the body, uh, the mechanics of the body can function. You know, but, 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 yeah, there are continuities, but there are profound differences. Um, uh, you know, and the movement in these figures seems to be much more about an active surface and, and, and a single unit, you know, with, on which there is a, a lot of dynamic going on. These begin to be much more uh, easy.
easy to engage in terms of the kinds of literary associations that you were, um, you know, articulating in, in, you know, in terms of, of humor and the way the weight of the body is moving. I mean, they seem to be, in that sense, I mean, one could imagine 30 years later something very different from this to continue whatever the implications are here. Um, and, 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 you know, moving away from you know, any recognizable figure, whereas it's gone absolutely the other way to something much more clearly identifiable, both as a character and as a figure doing something, um, you know, so that these, that compared to these, these, these um, you know, one could almost yeah, give them identities as personages or characters from a drama or something. You know, they're, they're very different in that way. Um, and I'm, I mean, that was what was engaging me. Uh, and, and, uh, I, and, you know, I'm, I'm trying to kind of think, you know, what, what, what are the implications of that? taking that route rather than another one. Um, I mean, particularly, you know, in a contemporary situation where, where you know, so much is open, uh, or possibilities are open, and, 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 and to, to choose, in a sense, to uh, not be critical here, I'm just trying to understand, to choose, in a sense, to to, to um, make the work that much more accessible uh, is what I think, you know, is, is, is my sense immediately these are much more accessible than these. Um, you know, to, to, uh, to uh, a person, you know, not engaged in the art world. Um, and that, 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 that's, that I'm going to shut up now. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, if if you're a figurative sculptor, if you're making figures and you're a sculptor, the issue has to be, um, one of the issues has to be, um, it seems to me, you know, you 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 you're in you're in in a uh, the tradition, you know, that you're in very much, and and you know. Uh, is your work being drowned by that tradition, right? or, or, or can it somehow the rise above it, extend it, renew it, make you see it differently, give, give, give it a new, you know, that, that, that's the ultimate question, if you've got to choose. And, and clearly it seems to me that, that Bruce has chosen um, to go to a place where these begin to be, in a sense, uh, much more identifiable as part of a tradition uh, than maybe these could have led to. Is that fair? Am I making sense? Yeah. It, it seems to be one of the thrills of in this work is you have the sensation of a guy who's running totally at liberty within tradition. He's completely free inside and doing what he likes. You know that he has it. And that it just, it's, it's uh, weightless to him. So sorry, the tradition is weightless. Yeah. Weighing on it. No burden. Uh -huh. It's I think it's worth um, mentioning that as much character as each piece has, he's not using any models. Yeah. Well, except himself. 
Well, I have that feeling that no matter what it looks like, male or female, you know, no matter how much it differs from his physiognomy, they're all him. And, 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 and in, in some ways, not just the, the physical appearance, but in some ways, the, the evocation of the personality seems yeah. to be, I mean, my sense of Bruce is, you know, there's a certain kind of humor and irony and, uh -huh. and uh, um, capacity for self-mocking, you know, self. Uh, sure, but there, if, you know, you suggested that he's sort of striving for accessibility. And I think at the same time, I, you know, I understand that and there's a certain sense in which I agree and that he wants to be clear. But I think it's worth noticing that, and sort of the general response to his work is these are ugly. You know, I, I don't, uh, you know, these are monsters. Uh, I want to leave the room. Uh, and that, uh, you know, that resistance to accessibility is, is conscious. Uh, it's not, uh, uh, there's certainly nothing ingratiating about these things. Uh, All right. I, yeah, I, mean, I, 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 wasn't, I wasn't saying he was striving for accessibility, but that he has nevertheless moved towards a position where the work is, it seems to me, much more accessible. Mm -hmm. And, it, and you know, and the, and the reaction may be to, to the sense that these people are not people that you would like. Well, it, it's you know that, that one is one is just if if what you say is the case, it may be that people are responding to these as personages and not as objects. Uh -huh. Yeah, and that's difficult too. I mean, it's difficult to respond to them as objects. I mean, right. because they are so present as, as uh, somebody you might come run across. Right, right. Uh, and, and I would say that they're not uh, self-portraits. Uh, they are in each character. Uh, I mean, a lot of Bruce goes into these things, but they're sort of finished when they're not Bruce. Right. You know, uh, it's somebody and a sort of complete uh, other person. Like a written character. Sorry? Like a written character. Yeah, sure, sure. That, uh, and, you know, Madame Bovary saint moi. Uh, but she, she both right. is, and she's. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, their social sculpture, I think, is, they have some way of, of addressing and engaging. But I think, to your point about accessibility, they have a way of, of uh, meeting people. And allowing themselves to be yeah. recognized. Right, a kind of openness that is, you know, starting with the earlier pieces. But it's much wider, or these are more, instead of accessible, I would kind of say open. Uh, uh, it requires some effort to kind of get used to, but once you kind of open the door, it's a nice player. These are interesting characters and rich characters. Well, they, 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 they have a kind of a quality of recognizability, don't they? Which these don't. You know, one, one in some way kind of engages them as if, you know, they are people one knows or might know, or, you know, one associates that well, this is like so and so, or, you know, sure. and, um, or, or, or some character from a play or a movie or a novel. I, I do want to ask you a question. Um, I, I, I'm slightly troubled by the consistency 
of these square blocks that the figures stand on, um, which seem so uh, pristine and, and, and unified and unrelated to the figure on them, um, and, and seem to shift in some way as a the figure into a, you know, into a predictable kind of uh, place where I think that they could be very uh, different if that, if that, if somehow that this were, I don't know what, but not as it is. Uh, um, I mean, I, I, is, do you have a similar? I hadn't given it a thought till you mentioned it, but the, the setting of the heads in the next room is just like, so musical, mm -hmm. and so deaf, that if, if, if he had that opportunity with these, which maybe he just hasn't come to yet, it, it, would, uh, it would be an advantage. Well, I think maybe that one's not exactly a square. But, and, 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 and how it seems to be in some kind of opposition to the aspiration of the figure itself, which is wanting to be present to me as a character, as a personage, as an individual. Uh, but this seems to serve to remove them from that, in a way, make them less, make them more like statues. They're aspiring to be present um, in my world uh, and, and to connect with me at, at, you know, at the level Rather than as as objects, as statues, but this seems to contradict that. They don't. They don't. The transition between this world and this figure uh, needs to somehow be seamless. Need, you know, mm. I mean, it does, it, it, it does seem at least as if some of them, this one, most clearly, if you could, could stand on its actual feet without that cluster square. And, 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 uh, and it would feel very different. I like the size of these pieces and uh, standing you know, more or less on the floor. It's somehow, I mean, they're not, they're not our scale, but somehow the, the, the address seems interesting and correct between us at full scale and them at, like, half size. And, and looking down at them as we do, because they, they come up to somewhere like waist high, it seems right for, for them in this exhibition. I, I agree. I like, I like the fact that they're not, I mean, you know, one could imagine, especially with this, that it was on a pedestal and the figure was up here. Yeah. And that would feel then very different. And, and uh, it, it, I think it would be, would not, to me, feel consistent with, you know, the, the humor and the diminutive size, the sense in which these are, you know, I mean, almost if, if, if they were alive, they'd be dwarfs, you know. Um, and, 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 uh, yeah. Yeah. It gives me the sensation that this is a fellow who makes a figure every day. <coughs> but that's his traders, professions, making figures from head to foot, no multiplication, no fragmentation. It's a complete viable body. And he's getting everything he thinks and feels that day is getting into a figure. That he's a, that he's a, a figure maker. Yes. Well, clearly he is. And it seems, and it's a viable form or viable meter.
it has more than enough room for everything he brings to it. As a you know early 20th first century man, it's doing it. Sarah and George Shapiro and whoever else. 
see that. I mean, I see it, it could have gone that way from these figures, but it's gone in a different direction uh, to, to, to remove itself uh, from that discussion uh, and, 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 and to turn its attention to, towards something uh, quite particular and, 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 and uh, you know, an obviously deeply engaging to the author, but in terms of its participating in that larger dialogue, I don't quite get that. Well, it, I, I, there is an important sense in which his engagement is negative. It, it, you know, he has. Uh, you know, he's not part of what might be called the Anglo-American uh, uh, sort of trend or, or the dominant thinking in Anglo-American contemporary uh, uh, sculpture. But there is, that is only one thing that's uh, been going on. There's all kinds of other, uh, uh, and particularly uh, continental European uh, uh, sculpture, artwork in general, that is less materialistic, more philosophical slash spiritual, that, uh, you know, this is Giacometti. It's not uh, Matisse and Picasso. It's regressive in a certain sense. But that regressive, progressive dichotomy or whatever uh, that used to be, used to make a lot of sense in, sort of in the 70s, that, it, it doesn't make that much sense anymore to me. You know, Giacometti doesn't stick out as uh, regressive or certainly negatively regressive. Uh, he's just as much of a sculptor as Picasso or Matisse, if not, you know, sort of stronger. Figure. 
And that's kind of some of the divide, maybe between these works and something that's more programmatically, um, uh, I don't know, categorical and, and deliberately modern or innovative. It really feels like he, he looks straight at the body, if not the model, and, and proceeds from it with this big background of figure and tradition and sculpture in the back of his head, but, it, but it's not on his shoulders. They don't, to me, offer themselves you know, as, as characters, and certainly not as portraits, except possibly this one. Right. But one as one. presences. Yeah, as, as, but, but, but presences that you can't disencounter from the object. Uh-huh, right, mm -hmm. right. And whereas I think in these you can, and that's where I'm having my little hissy fit. Yeah, yeah, well, I know, no, it's, it's, uh, it's a legitimate, uh, all right, and, you know, it's, I, I'm, I'm trying not to yeah. experience. Yeah. Uh, I like this one. Yeah. But there is a, a, a presence is a mysterious thing. Yes, it is. And uh, and how you you know you, it isn't the result of information and list of uh, body parts or facial features or anything like that. And um, and it is something that can disappear quickly. Uh, and um, and it, it's, it, you know, it's something that you kind of capture. And it seems to me the, these are, uh, do capture <coughs> some, uh, some sense of presence uh, very effectively, and it, it makes me think of um, Anne Carson as a poet, and she talks about writing poetry, and then running out of breath, uh, and there it's as if the moment when Bruce ran out of breath, that's when uh, he stopped working on these, and something sort of similar happens in the paintings. The, uh, the sculpture, because of its bulk, is carried past this moment of, uh, of presence. Uh, but he's, he's uh, he, you know, he's challenging that. point on the spectrum the heads have between, as you were saying, job presence, portraiture, you know, individuality, it reminds me of the, um, the Domier character bus. Mm -hmm. They're formally sort of like so mm -hmm. plastic and uh, yeah. strenuous that it's almost like they've left the sitter behind. And these things, you know, there's something, the, the, the kind of a lump of the head asserts itself over the face and over features. Right. Right? They seem to kind of shrink in the face of it. They're strange, aren't they? I mean, if you look at that, you know, that and that and that and that, that seems to be so different from this and this. You know, um, it's kind of a shift from something that's really inventive and strange, formal yeah. something to something that is much more. Straightforwardly, anatomically correct. Yeah, the arm, it's like the, the hollows and the prominences have this assertion of their own mm. that leaves the body behind. Yeah, and that is, that is that's kind of wonderful, isn't it? But it doesn't, it doesn't seem to be, in this case, carried through to the entire kind of presence.
That's the final word.